On a beautiful Wednesday, the 25th of July, 1951, a prodigy was bequeathed to Mother Earth. From a family lineage of musicians, his interest in music as a child was nothing surprising to family and onlookers. He grew up to become one of Africa's most celebrated choral and classical music composers. Kenneth Koku Avotri Kafui, popularly called Ken Kafui, is the man. A household name, a maestro per excellence, a teacher, composer, conductor, and a father to many. Mr. Kafui taught music at the prestigious Achimota College for over 20 years and over 10 years at the music department of the University of Ghana, Lagos. At one time in his life, he was a conductor of the Ghana National Symphony Orchestra and served as a resource person to a number of choral organizations in sub-Saharan Africa. As a versatile composer, he composed both instrumental and vocal pieces. Most popular amongst them include Akpi Sonata, Pentanata, Dramnata, Midak Benamau, Zodede, Jijom, Christo Tau, and many others. A devoted Christian of the Evangelical Presbyterian faith, some of his works were included in the new hymn book of the church used by both the Ghana and Togo conferences. In God's infinite wisdom, he called Maestro Ken Kafui home on the 18th of March 2020 to rest from his labor. He is survived by his beautiful wife and four amazing children. In this documentary, we will share with you fond memories of Mr. Ken Kafui from a large group of music maestros and ardent lovers of sacred choral music from around the globe. As we remember one of Africa's greatest composers, Ken Kafui, the ACGC would like to really put a voice out there to say we are thankful to the master for having taught us the sounds of Africa, for having been able to incorporate these wonderful qualities into all forms of music, be it marrying it with the Western classical, marrying it with jazz attuned, or keeping it as simply folkloric. He was a champion. He knew the idiom of those people who are first on this world, and that is the African people. And on this day, we say thank you and long live the spirit of the maestro himself, Ken Kafui. Maestro Kenneth Kafui uh, is a great human being indeed. You know, in Africa, when we say someone is a great human being, it means the person is empathetic, the person is kind-hearted, the person is always ready to help. And this was Mr. Kafui. And this is uh, very important because this reflects in the music that he wrote. I mean, you could tell that he was kind-hearted uh, in everything that he did. Even when there was conflict in his music, and you know, if there was a musical conflict in his music, you could tell that the conflict was there for a good purpose, and he resolved the courts or the redemic conflict in a way that you could tell that he had really resolved it very, very well. And again, I think that Ken Kafui was a very important uh, transitional figure between the old composers and the new ones. Kafui was um, a very important uh, transitional figure between the old and the new. For one, you know, he taught in Achimota school. He taught in a high school for a very long time. So he dealt with um, the youth or children from the ages of about between 10 and 18 or 19 for over well over two decades so he actually had that kind of um, opportunity to influence and, and to inspire a lot of upcoming composers I'll say that we have lost uh, a great composer indeed but his works are there to urge us on and also to open the way for us to do more he stood for simplicity 
but simplicity that was also beautiful in a way that uh, it portrayed or it breathed that African breath um, through the music. So Mr. Kafu is a national hero, he's an African hero, and indeed he's a world hero. I met Kafui for the first time in 1976-1977 academic year. Ken Kafui was then graduating out of the general diploma of the School of Music here at Legon. At that time, I had completed Form 5 music at St. Augustine's College in Cape Coast. My encounter with him was that he was a very keen musician. He was one who was very circumspect, yet very disciplined, because he knew that to be one who could go far, he should be committed to his instrument. I also came to realize something about him, and this was the fact that composition came very easy to him. And he was a prolific composer. Ken Kafwe is one who can inspire. Ken Kafwe was one who was industrious, and he could help you to achieve great things. Mr. Ken Kafui is a great music legend. For me, as a music lover, we've lost somebody really great. And it was a devastating news to hear of his passing. And we cannot but celebrate him. Even though he's not here physically with us, we trust that in the spirit of music, he's still with us and we'll continue to celebrate him. Mr. Ken Kafui, rest in peace. Uh, he was a world-class composer, you know, and, and performer. His works have been performed in many parts of the world, and he's very proud to say it each time we meet, you know. Well, we particularly remember him for his, uh, you know, uh, idea in composition, which we call the pentanata, a combination of uh, the pentatonic scale and the sonata. You know, he is somebody also who believes in creative ethnomusicology, where you do research, you know, in order to compose. So he was a strong advocate of uh, creative ethnomusicology. Uh, the much I know about uh, Mr. Kenkafui for the few years I've stayed here at the University of Ghana, is that he's somebody who is passionate about the arts, passionate about music, and passionate about scholarship. So each time we had the uh, seminars or presentations, he was always there and willing to contribute and to share with the younger generation. So we are going to miss him very greatly because it's an icon that cannot be easily replaced. We mourn with our dear friends in Ghana the passing of our father and consummate musicologist and composer, Ken Kafi. We pray that even at this time, God will console his family and indeed the musical world in Ghana. He is quite a remarkable figure here because his works have been sung and performed several times among squires. We mourn with our dear friends and we pray that God will rest his soul. I heard of Ken Kafui way back as a student. Um, through his songs, some of his songs, Midakwe, Namau and the rest, we sang it a lot, but we didn't even know who he was at that time until I came to um, the University of Ghana to join the staff when he was already teaching when I also joined the staff. He joined before I joined and we learned a lot from him. He's been a trailblazer in terms of instrumental music, in terms of choral music and um, I think his works would have to live on as uh, a source of steady material even for up-and-coming students. I, for once, have had an, an encounter with him and he just saw me and approached me and said, my dear, why don't you join the group that you came to solo for? But as shy as I was, yes, I was very, very shy by then. He, he kind of encouraged me. Even that, that, that peaceful smile that he gave when I was singing, 
made me realize that indeed there is hope for African music. Indeed there is hope for choral music in Ghana. And we pray that those he has trained and those he has taught will continue to manifest his works. It is with a deep heart that I make this tribute. Professor Ken Avutri Kafui Deye. My orchestration teacher and motivator. His piano pieces, Kale, and the Pentanata helped shape my understanding of African rhythms. And his choral mute pieces like Miwado and Kokwaito inspired most of my choral works. Rest well, Professor. Rest well until the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your fire will burn on for generations. Professor Deye, Innovator Deye, Motivator Deye. Mr. Ken Kafui, Le Togo Nyanyu Hame, Fekoya often come. Medila de Akbegede. Le talento ye mau nao ne chokbaha he na pen kopwe kafu kafu kwe dodo reji. Wo hakpakpa o na mye pojijo e ye mye chwase ye de mau. E si e yanto yo le he he siame la he yi le un tifafa me vasere si me mye agakpe Mr. Kenkafui was a noble person, very humble, and I would say a gifted composer from God to us. I quite remember the first time I met him. He, he attended our rehearsal and we were working on um, one of his songs for a concert. He realized the song was a bit difficult for us, and so while the rehearsal was going on, he, he just Stood up, he stood in front of the choir and started encouraging them and uh, motivating them to, to pick it very well. So, uh, at, the, at the end, he made sure, yeah, we, we, we did the right thing. He also promised to uh, get us someone who take us through the language that the airway language very well so that um, we could pronounce the words clearly. Mr. Kinkoff. Save situations and to lead. I was just 
actually heard that if not for her, music would have died out in Ghana. Music used to be compulsory in schools. When I was, I did my O level music, I sat for London University O level music. had a classroom or lecture room encounter with Mr. Kafui, but was privileged to watch and learn from him from a distance. Mr. Kafui was teaching orchestration to second and third year students when I went to the National Academy of Music, now University of Education, in 1984. Mr. Kafui left the academy a year after and came back on some few occasions to rehearse the Nam Kwa when he was the director of the National Symphony Orchestra for some concerts. It was always a delight to watch him rehearse the choir. His sense of rhythm is unique. I also learned a lot as a student from Mr. Kafui's piano pieces, especially his 16th note rhythmic patterns in his piano works are great. Mr. Kafui has contributed immensely to the growth of choral music in Ghana, Africa, and the world as a whole. It's always a delight to perform his unique choral compositions, especially to foreign audience. We're really going to miss Mr. Ken Kafui. The few things I can say about Mr. Ken Kafui is that he has an amazing personality. I love his calmness and um, about his music. Initially, it is difficult to learn, but once you learn it, you always fall in love with it and you want to sing it over and over and over again. Definitely, we cannot and we will never ever forget the impact he has made in our lives. Rest well, Maestro Ken Kafui. God keep you safe. I first met Mr. Ken Kafui when I was a student at the National Academy of Music, now University of Education, Winneba. Uh, he taught me introduction to orchestration. Um, he's a very good teacher and a very good musician too. Um, he had a, spoke, a soft spoken voice and then the students will shout from the back. Forte means uh, if they were asking him if he could speak louder. And then in an attempt to speak louder, his voice, the level of noise that came was still the same. <laughs> I found it amusing at the time. Um, like I said, he was a very good musician. He inspired me a lot, especially in using African idioms in my compositions. And he was an ardent, ardent user of the hockey technique. And he used it so well. We know that he has started composing for the angels and they are enjoying his music in heaven. He will forever be missed by the choral music and composition uh, fraternity in Ghana. May his soul rest in perfect peace. We in Harmonious Choral are going to miss him so much because he was always full of praise for the choir. Mr. Ken Kafui, we thank you for believing in us all the time and we thank you that you contributed to choral music in Ghana. We will miss you dearly. Would have loved for you to be with us for a very long time so that we we'll all benefit from you. But we know that your maker loves you more.
just played for you a few bars from uh, Mr. Ken Kafui's beautiful Akpi Sonata. I personally think this is the greatest piano solo piece ever written by a Ghanaian composer. And it wonderfully combines Western elements like the classical sonata form with indigenous Ghanaian rhythms. And I think it creates a unique atmosphere. This piece also is very dear to me because it makes me remember a meeting I had with Mr. Ken Kafui at Legon University back in 2018 when I visited Ghana. After his lecture, I played this piece for him and he was very delighted to hear me from Holland playing this piece for him in Ghana. I remember Mr. Kafui as a, a person who was very interested in music in general, people around him, a very warm and kind person and it is a meeting that I will never forget. I'm very grateful that I had the opportunity to meet him in person and uh, I hope as a musician, not only me, but all musicians in the world will keep his music alive by performing it often. I must have been about five years old when I first encountered Dr. Ken Kafui's music. I was a young boy in Bethel Methodist Church, Takrade. On one Sunday, I heard the singing band render a lovely fancy tune, which began with the lyrics, Hummayendak Namiasi. Much later, when I was in primary school, I joined a school choir and during one of our rehearsals, the choir master distributed the sheet music to an ever piece. And the opening line of the piece was Mida at Benamau. As the rehearsal progressed and we went through the music, I discovered that this was the original composition of the fancy tune I had heard a little earlier in my life. Dr. Kafui, you were a genius. Your consistency in composing primarily in Ewe, playing on the beauty of the language, was amazing. You will always be a giant, standing tall, together with those who have laid the foundation that we build on today. Thank you for giving us your life. I've actually met Mr. Ken Kafui before, and when I saw him the first time, People were actually asking me whether he's my father, whether I'm related to him and all that, but I said no. Actually, I'm falling in love with his compositions, like Mida um, Akpe and then Jijom. Actually, when I saw this piece and I played them, I realized that they were a whole masterpiece. A lot of people talk about him, a lot of people like to listen to his music, and I think he's one of the great Ghanaian composers. So I met Mr. Ken Kafui sometime in 2009 when we were preparing um, for his evening, a program we did to celebrate him as a composer. And um, we had heard of Ken Kafui's Mida uh, Akbe Namau. And then this man came with other pieces. I mean, they were just fantastic. For us as singers, when you touch a piece from Ken Kafui, you know you are up there in heaven. We really are going to miss Mr. Ken Kafui. Sir, we love you, but God loves you best. Rest in peace, Mr. Ken Kafui. I have sat in his classes. I have learned theory of musicians from him. I have learned orchestral works from him. He has inspired me in the area of organ and other instruments. He is very fun to be with. And one thing that I remember about him is when he blesses the class, before our examinations. Ken Kafu will be missed. He is one man I admire so much. Very well, Ken Kafu. I met Mr. Ken Kafu somewhere two years ago um, at a function. He showed interest in my little girl. I think she performed at that function and he was so happy to have seen a little girl playing um, a grade four piano piece at her age. So he said he was going to com uh, compose piano pieces for her. Early part of this year, we, we planned um, organizing a peace concert because this year is a, it's an election year. So um, I book an appointment with him. He asked me to come to see him at his office, which I did. And it was a fruitful discussion. 
to a point where um, he was so happy about the concert. And when I was about leaving his office, he said, young man, let us pray, which we did. And that prayer has really impacted my life. Mr. Kenkafi was a great composer whom I grew up listening to his composition and whilst I grew up I got the opportunity to meet him and he was such a great person. He had knowledge in music that you never leave his presence without learning anything. He always made sure that we had knowledge about our background so that we would be able to build upon it as Ghanaians and as Africans so that we can move on. And I think with that, we've really lost a great composer and a legend in music. And I pray that his soul would rest in perfect peace. Mr. Ken Kaffee was a great lover of harmonious chorale, a great lover of choral music. He was always very encouraging of us as a choir, always very supportive. We'll always remember him for that. Uncle Ken Kaffee, wherever you are, we are sure you are singing the angels. Rest in peace. My encounter with Maestro Ken Kafui, I didn't meet him in person, but I got to know him through his music during my SHS years when we used to learn the songs from him. So I learned his Jijom song, and I mean, I really love the beauty of the music, and I got to fall in love with this man. Mr. Ken Kafui was known for his unique compositions and I personally really enjoy playing his pieces and his pieces are so grand, they are so 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 nice that you want to just play your heart out when you are performing his piece. And it's, it's a very sad moment for me personally because Mr. Kenkapi spoke to me and he was arranging something with us to perform his piano pentonatus um, together with David and Augustine. But it couldn't happen and he had to he had to leave us. We are going to miss the second country very much. A great musician that Ghana has had. Rest in peace with the second country. Uh, about five years back, um, at my reception, I just could see a face that was so popular and, and that was Ken Kafui uh, coming to Middle Productions to ask for service. I said, wow. And so since then, we began to work on all his CDs and if he had a concert, we will go and work on the sound for him. I miss him. I miss him. He's candid, he's gentle, and um, he respects everybody that comes his way. And I think that that is a treat that I have also taken from him and would love you know, to get more young ones to myself, even as I age, and listening to them and advise them as Ken Kafui would do. I first met Mr. Ken Kafui at the Achimota School when he was the music master of the school. And uh, I was a student of uh, Winneba Secondary School then. I was still in high school, uh, but was playing for the Winneba Youth Choir. Then we went for a wedding at Achimota College Mr. Kikafri came around as an organist. He was well dressed in full suits in a white shirt with a tie. I was in an, um, an ordinary clothes. From there, he made an impression on my mind that hey, music is a serious business, you have to dress well. And I've never forgotten that. Every encounter I've had with Mr. Kafri was a blessing to me. He encourages, he advises, and he blesses. I have taken so much inspiration from his music, his composition styles. I've learned a lot from him. And uh, when it comes to harmonious chorale, he has been our number one fan. Every time he sees us, he says, "You are not an ordinary choir. You are an international choir." He says that very often. And uh, we're going to miss Mr. Kafu. You, your work will speak for you forever. Your work will make a memory, and we we'll never forget. And uh, you know, we love you ever cherish your work. The legacy you left every time we needed you were there for us. Thank you, Mr. Kafu, for all you did for Harmonious Kora. May God be with you. Your memory will never be lost. We love you, Mr. Kafu.
maestro Ken Kafui. We would have loved to have you around forever. Generations unborn will come to appreciate your music. Your name is recorded in shining letters and history forever. We shall meet again on the resurrection morning. Good night, Maestro. Maestro, head anyway. Oh!